Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a pick a card today for your Twin Flame Soul Connections and Separation um, or whoever you're thinking of, love reading. Uh, this is timeless, so whenever you are clicking on this, this is meant for you. This is a pick a card for this week. I felt like I needed to have you guys choose what was resonating with you. So we're going to go in depth. We're going to take a look and see um basically what is going on right now between you and your soul connection we're going to take a look at karmic energies and we're going to gain some advice for you guys so let's get started okay so if you are new welcome don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're returning hit that notification bell okay and welcome to all i've just recently gotten some new subscribers i also wanted to let you guys know my account has been hacked and there's been a lot of different things i had to change my phone number and stuff like that um so if you guys, if anyone's getting any messages from me, I may just do a video and put this out. Messages, emails from me saying about giving you readings. I don't reach out to anybody. There's a lot of scammers out there. I've had people reach out saying that it's me contacting them and it's not me. Okay, so make sure that you, uh, if you, everything to re get in contact with me is here on this platform. It's down below. So just take a look at that. Um, and my email, I don't reach out to anybody. So if someone's reaching out to you, let me know. Um, it's not me. A lot of my contacts have been stolen. Um, so yeah, and a lot of, I've lost a lot of subscribers in the last little bit. I think it has something to do with this. So please know that, um, yeah, the dark energies just don't want the light to shine. That's just how it is in this world. So what can we do? Let's just keep going, right? Okay, let's keep going. Having my coffee, and we're going to get started. Pile number one. This is uh, the ayahuasca necklace. It is um, the actual plant, the vine of the masculine energy. So this is ayahuasca. It's got the third eye on here. This is one of my favorite pieces. It actually jabs you in the neck <laughs> when you're like purging over a bucket. <laughs> um, but yeah, so group number one. If you feel that, that is your pile. Group number two, this is another beautiful piece that I got in Bacalar, Mexico, Mexico. Um, it is a tree with this beautiful, uh, I believe it's Amazonite. Okay, so this is pile number two is the tree. And the third one is a clay handmade Chris Clear Quartz Crystal Mushroom. I absolutely love this piece as well. I bought this off, off of uh, an ex-client. So, yeah. So this is a mushroom necklace. All right. So, you may want to pause the video and take a look closer at which ones you would like, and we're gonna get started. Okay. Okay, group number one, this is your reading for your soul connection. We're going to just put that there for you. Let's take a look and see what is going on in your soul connection right now, group number one. We're going to be using Made for Love's deck. We're going to be using my Mirrored Messages deck as well, my Tarot deck. And let's get started. Let's see. Let's start with this and see what's going on in your connection right now. What is going on, Spirit, with group number one for this week in their Twin Flame Soulmate connection, please, Spirit? What is going on in the energies between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, please? What is going on between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? Let's take a look and see what's going on with the Divine Masculine towards you divine feminine and uh most of everyone are divine feminines that are watching this so keep that in mind okay let's see what is going on with divine masculine right now for pile number one spirit towards the feminine can we have four cards yeah thank you that came up earlier so that wanted to come out again obviously it flipped up earlier okay we have i'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you I'm working on my inner issues. <laughs> I'm ready to defend this. this. This masculine feels very much of a prisoner 
and uh, we have prisoner and life partner. So this masculine here is very much feeling, um, I'm gathering the sense, we're going to move these right over, um, that they are definitely feeling imprisoned um, where they're at right now. They're not ready, but they're working. They're, this masculine is doing their work, looking at where they feel imprisoned because remember, high level soulmate connections are all about freedom, right? All about freedom. It's not about control, codependency, addictions, lust, any of those things. It's really about your connection with spirit. So this masculine, what I'm getting for group number one, is really looking at their future, really looking at how they want to move towards the Divine Feminine, knowing that they're trapped, knowing that this is still a maturing process because I'm seeing that this is still a little kitty. It's not, um, you know, it may be uh, trapped by other family members or people around them that are squawking. Parents, <laughs> gossip. I don't know if uh, I've been in the Amazon many, many, many times. My family is from South America, so I've been in um the bat dam and then the amazon forest many times and parrots are annoying parrots are squawkers parents are gossipers they're 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 you know they're beautiful to look at but they really are a gossipy bird they have a lot of drama that happens between them if you ever observe them in the wild so this is what i'm seeing happening with divine masculine towards the feminine right now is like i feel trapped with all of these gossipers but i know you're like my life partner and this masculine is wanting to defend this connection so let's see what's going on with divine feminine what is going on with divine feminine spirit towards the masculine thank you what is going on? Can we have four cards? Thank you. Or how many want to come out? <laughs> as many came out, I think, as for the masculine, too. All right, let's see. We have different perspectives. So this feminine is saying, I, I see things very differently than what you're seeing. You're my shining star. Yes, Divine Feminine definitely wants this connection. I'm following my heart. Divine Feminine to the Masculine. Torn between two lovers. Okay, so this could be you, Divine Feminine, but hearing the destiny. So, Divine Feminine, you may be dating. Um, you know this person is for you, but you may have... I feel for some of you have been like, you know what? I'm over it. I want love in my life. I'm dating. And um, some of you may have already started dating. You also know that this masculine holds a special place in your heart. You may also know, Divine Feminine, that this masculine may have somebody else and is torn. And so you're following your heart and moving forward. However, that resonates for you. But Spirit is saying that you're starting to see things differently in this connection. That's what I'm getting. I feel where you're marrying with the masculine. The masculine's recognized the connection, knows that they're trapped, but really doing the brunt work now. And honestly, seeing what's happening here and defending the connection. And because this masculine has risen in a sense to defend this connection, you're gaining a new perspective about maybe what has happened between a third party situation or between your connection or how you are moving towards a new connection or dating or finding love. There's something that's definitely shifting in this connection. So um, I wanted to pull... A little bit more let me see what other decks call me here guys I'm just going intuitively per group those are all my tarot but I'm just trying to see what Oracle decks are calling me up let's do the angel answers so I'm just gonna go by what spirit guides me I don't want to so every group is going to be different so if you are pulled to another group um, yeah, you can definitely take a look at another group. Obviously, I haven't read all the other groups. This is the first pile, but there's definitely, yeah, they want me to use this one as well. So, all right. So let's take a look here because they want me to use these as the healing messages, but we're going to take a look at some other aspects here. What else would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine here, Spirit? And we're going to clarify. This is for pile number one, please, Spirit. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine right now? We're going to pull some tarot as well. <laughs> 
Okay, they're saying remain positive. They're in recovery mode right now, okay? In the near future. They want something here, okay? So something is definitely happening in this connection. Okay, we're going to do this. I wish I had like a, a big ass table with the amount of spreads that I do. It's like, I wish I could. I could okay so yeah they're saying in the near future they're defending this there's something is shifting very much in your connection here and that's really what I'm getting masculines are really just trying to uh, unprison themselves right now get out of um, old ways of thinking okay let me take a sip of coffee they're definitely trying to recover from whatever they've been going through let's see what divine feminine wants to say to divine masculine We're going to look at the karmic situation as well. Can we have one more since masculine got three? Can we have one more for feminine? They're saying no. <laughs> it's only getting two. Because they're saying they got five here and you got six. So it balances. So, okay. There's big happy changes happening here, you guys. Look for a sign. So there's massive shift that's happening here. So spirit is saying yes. Just stay positive. Um... You may have to clear out some energies here about being torn between two lovers, but you're feeling destiny coming through. If this is you, Divine Feminine, I feel some of you, you're noticing it's not working anyways. You're getting pulled back to your masculine. And that happens. We go into soul connections. We're like, oh, this is wonderful. Then after a certain amount of time, you're like, no, this isn't for me. This isn't for me. So let's take a look here and do some tarot. Let's do some tarot before we get some messages. We're going to look at the karmic situation as well, too. All right, so let's take a look. What is going on for group number one with the masculine towards divine feminine? Please, Spirit. This is for my group. So, yeah. I'm also going to be doing a bunch of videos today about how to read tarot intuitively, how I see energy. I'm putting it in my group membership. I'm going to, I'm, I'm creating a mystery type school. I do by weekly calls as well. If you guys are interested, all that is below. If you're liking this reading so far, please make sure to hit the like. It really helps me to grow guys and it returns the karma back to me in a really beautiful way. So I appreciate that. And if you'd like to go further, subscribing would be even better. <laughs> all right, let's take a look here. What is going on with the masculine energy? So this masculine is really wanting to remain positive and is uh, really working on themselves right now. We're going to clarify each group here, each pile. This masculine here, I'm waiting for the right time to communicate. They feel quite trapped. Let's see. What is going on? Yeah, this is karmic energy. See, they're not healing in the environment that they're in right now. They know it's not where they're meant to be. They know it's not their destiny. They know it's not their calling. They are feeling completely trapped by the situation. They know it's not healing. Um, and what was that that fell on the ground? They want a brand new beginning here. That's what masculine is saying to divine feminine. This is the queen of wands in reverse, okay? And it's just how I read my cards. It's karmic energy. Very, you know, pulled in by the sex, pulled in by the lust, pulled in by the mental. You know, this is, it's okay. But there's a new beginning that masculine is definitely wanting, which is in the near future. They're coming out of a place of complacency. What's in the near future spirit that they are defending? They're, they're breaking down a home life, they're breaking down a foundation, and they're seeing things very clearly in the near future, okay? They know that you're their life partner. Let's take a look. Yeah, they gained that enlightenment that you are the person for them, and they want to move towards this fairly quickly, okay? Which is you, so what, how are they imprisoned? Yeah. They're very blocked and dealing with a lot of responsibility, a lot of frustrations. They're not even thinking, they're not even paying mind to it. It's actually um, a really big issue for them. They, they, they want to win this at all costs. They see the competition here and they want to win this at all costs, okay? Yeah, let's take a look at the Kipper deck. I'm getting pulled to the Kipper I love this Kipper deck. It's a little negative on the negative side, but... I like when things are dark and light, so 
Let's just get it right out in the wall, on the on the table, you know. Let's just look at the energies. Let's not pussyfoot around anything. That's how I say see things. It's like, let's just be honest and put it on the table. Because the longer that you try to just hold things back, it just makes a big mess, you know. It just does. Let's take a look. What's going on with masculine energy towards the feminine right now? What's going on with masculine? That the masculine's not healing here, spirit, with the karmic energies and seeing things very clearly now. They've gained the enlightenment. They want to come forward here in the near future. Can you give us what is the masculine? Yeah, they're putting an end. They're putting an end. Look at this. What? 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 Okay, look at this. Masculine wants to court feminine. It's going to come unexpectedly. They're paying out their way towards the karmic energy. They may be like, look, this doesn't hurt the masculine. This person has money. They've got a ring. They're giving it to a beggar here. So this masculine may be like, yo, take the damn house. I don't care. Take the car. Take the house. Take the <laughs> I'll just buy new. I'll just whatever because I don't want it anymore. Okay. They're, they're doing this because of a love courtship here. They're putting an end of a love here because of divine feminine. They're looking at who's really their main woman. Okay. They may have just been courting. This is not a serious relationship for some of you. It may have just been a dating thing that want that the karmic wants to move into something more serious. For others, it is a marriage. So they're going through, you know, just here, take the house. Um, there is a massive ending here for this love of of this main energy that's happening here okay wow let's take a look at divine feminine <laughs> divine feminine towards the mask and this divine feminine has definitely gained a new perspective is definitely following her heart knowing seeing big changes spirit is saying look for signs and you're saying yes um let's clarify this torn between two lovers why is divine feminine torn between two lovers could be you could be your masculine could be that you're done dating Looks like it's divine feminine um, that's a little blocked, but is kind of coming to a realization of where they want to give their cup of love here. So for some of you, you could be involved in somebody with somebody with others. Um, I I was. I love that shit. I love, I love listen, you guys, it's so funny. It's like love. It's like this person, it's like it doesn't even happen very long. It's like two months, no, bye, it's my masculine that I want, like, oh my god, you guys, spirit just keeps bringing people in to get you refocused, right, you've gained a new perspective here, divine feminine, okay, so even if it's you or the other person, this love offer, where's this love offer, is wanting to, yeah, is wanting to get off an old path here and to get onto a new path, so this empress is taking her cup, okay, and willing to either give it into herself or to somebody new or is moving forward or is taking it away out of a partnership right now and recognizing that she the ma feminine wants the masculine but whatever it is it's getting off the path that you're currently on divine feminine and realizing that you need to take your cup elsewhere you gained a new perspective about this reunion look at this friendship you've started to see maybe more of clarity of what's been happening with the masculine mentally emotionally you may have been looking seeing signs and knowing destiny is lining things up now so spirit is saying yeah like you're starting to gain a better understanding of this contract what separation was about and what this contract is about with your divine masculine so you're starting to recognize how to work with him now look at this fate is coming in and making huge changes i feel divine feminine you've done a lot of work here even if this person is torn between lovers i don't feel that's phasing you at all I feel you've come to a place where you're like, no, I can see now, I can understand maybe he may have been seduced or it was, you know, just it, this had to clear, the separation had to happen, this karmic energy had to happen. So there's definitely something that you are gaining a lot of understanding about here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look here for feminine energy towards the masculine. I wasn't really ready for this one, but you're waiting feminine energy towards the masculine some of you and i don't advocate for waiting waiting is not necessarily like you're sitting around not living your life waiting is like i have a space open for my masculine 
whenever he decides to come back, if I'm available, if that is something that I can do, depending on my situation, I'm open to all kinds of love. I'm open to what spirit brings to me. So you're in a sense just kind of holding yourself there and knowing that, yeah, because you want a real marriage here and you're ready to go on that distance and go the journey for that. So Divine Feminine, you're really sitting at a place you're like, I want my person. I if And I'm not, and it's not waiting. You're focusing on other things. You're working on you. You're getting healthy. You're doing stuff for your family. You're doing dreams and things that you've wanted to do that, you know, you don't really necessarily need a partner to do that. Or you could be in a relationship, maybe casually with somebody, but you know that who you want to marry, you will go that distance with that person depending on how spirit brings it forth, okay? So you're in a really good place, Divine Feminine. That's really what I'm seeing. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with the masculine energy towards karmic partners and karmic situations. We're going to take a look at that. So if your person is not in a karmic situation, you may want to skip this. It is, um, it can be addictions, it can be... Anything that keeps, I always see the devil as the karmic energy. It, it can be whatever keeps you attached, okay, um, to your exterior world. That's really what karma is because once you move from inside out living, you're not attached. You're not attached anymore to um, physical stimulus, you know, you you can enjoy the physical stimulus without becoming attached to it. And that's a big difference. Okay. So let's take a look. I want to use a different deck actually um, to do this reading. Na, 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 na. What did I do with that deck? I know I had that deck. All right, let's use this one. Let's take a look. This isn't my deck. This is a very common deck. I'm sure you've seen it. Let's take a look. What's going on with Divine Masculine and the Karmic Energies right now? Let's take a look at their relationship, you guys. Let's get in. Let's see what's happening in their connection. What's going on with Masculine Energy towards with Karmic, please? Wow, I haven't used these in a while. What's going on with Masculine Energy towards Karmic and Karmic towards masculine for group number one with the ayahuasca necklace thank you going on with divine masculine and karmic energies thank you let's see the energy that's coming down from the higher realms that's connecting them right now divine masculine energy we have king of swords on the bottom of the deck so masculine energy is becoming clear Look at this. Masculine is taking control of this counter of this karmic energy. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is the physical 3D layer that's connecting them, which is very unstable. This masculine does not want to be this karmic's daddy. Does not want to be their uh, banker, okay, or their investor or anything like that. They're very unstable. They're not grounded in this. This masculine's higher self is coming down very clear. Could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I'm really feeling more Aquarius with this, but this is really, you know, very clear uh, wisdom here, keeping heart and mind aligned for the change with the crow that's standing at the top, knowing the wisdom, knowing that there's a transformation happening. Masculine, what he thinks about the karmic, definitely communication and um, honesty coming out here. Karmic energy towards the masculine, seeing things clearly. This karmic is getting it in their head. Yeah, I'm done with the confusion. I get it. You're in love with uh, the Divine Feminine. I see it. I don't understand it, but I see it. Okay. Heart space for masculine. He's focused and he's working hard on his heart. Okay. Karmic energy in the heart. The Wheel of Fortune has said hello. Fate has come in and has started to change this connection. Okay. Divine Masculine is actioning his destiny, his wishes fulfillment. Karmic energy is actioning, seeing things clearly. Wow. This karmic energy, okay, if it's an addiction, it means that there's a clarity around it. Fate has come in. Spirit has come in. There's a clearing of this karmic energy for sure. The outcome for divine masculine is getting very honest 
and for karmic energies knowing that the masculine is not actioning this addiction okay or this codependency whatever it is there's no more action there's a lot of clarity in the karmic energies the fate has come in spirit has come in there is a massive shift that is happening right now so masculine is speaking his truth what is he saying to the karmic here yeah i'm moving on I'm sorry, I heard I'm moving on, bitch. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. That's so what I heard about moving on. Moving on, on. Okay, I, I'm done. And look at the crows. I keep noticing the crows here with this mask. And it's like he's getting guidance from spirit from the ravens and saying the truth about what this is this masculine is definitely communicating clearly and moving to calmer ground this this karmic energy mentally understands that is un, uh, actually understanding and seeing very clearly there's no confusion in this communication this karmic energy understands the addiction knows the energy of the addiction knows the co-worker knows whoever you're dealing with can see very clearly that there is a brand new passionate beginning that is starting here and this masculine wants to start something fresh and pure and truthful and honest and is moving towards deep authenticity this karmic energy is fully aware of that okay this masculine feels in his heart okay i'm working and focusing and working on this one thing what is it ending a marriage and a commitment it's been slow but it's picking up speed now we have the knight of pentacles with the knight of swords with that crow guiding this communication this crow has been spirit has been guiding this masculine through many 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 layers uh first it was slow moving you know he's gotten off the horse and walking but now he's running for that motorbike and really working at ending anything that um, you know, traditional marriage, traditions of family patterns, anything like that has been completely ending. It's been a slow pace, but things are starting to pick up speed, okay? This karmic energy is noticing that God has come in, fate has come in, karma is clearing, that the wheel is turning now. This wheel may not have turned in their connection at all, okay? Yeah. It's been stagnant, been coming back, nothing has turned, it's like coming back to the past, coming back to the past, returning to the past, um, not being able to walk away, yeah, this, this karmic energy is completely aware of the divine feminine and this love, and that returning to the past of this love, fate has brought it forward, this feminine, this karmic energy is feeling that, that there is, that this masculine can't walk away, it's always comes, it always keeps coming back to the feminine. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's five years, 10 years, guys, it keeps coming back. It's like, why does this woman, this divine feminine not go away? Because we're the same soul, bitch. We're the same soul. If you love him, you gotta love me. You know, like that's just how it is, right? I wish they could understand that. Like you're hating on a piece of the divine masculine soul, but okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> Let's move on. I need a sip of coffee there. All right. So Maxwell is definitely actioning his destiny, his wishes fulfillment. He ain't taking anything. Look at this. May have been afraid of this heartbreak with the karmic energies, but has definitely made a decision here. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. It's a little scary, but knowing that you have to walk through this darkness, you have to walk through the shadow, which is painful in order to know you know, to make a proper decision. It's not contemplating about how to move forward. It's not looking out in the distance anymore. It's not waiting and like, how do I get out there? It's like, that's what I know I have to do for my destiny, for my wish, for the love of my life, for who I'm meant to be with, how my destiny is on this planet. I need to go through this heartbreak and this shadow work. And this masculine has made the decision to do that, to get to this destiny. This karmic energy completely sees it, is very clear of it, is afraid of this change, okay? This karmic energy sees very clearly and is very afraid of this change because there is a new beginning that's coming, okay? The commitment has ended, okay? This commitment has ended. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, afraid of this change in this new beginning because knowing intuitively they've gone within that they have to clean up whatever betrayal is left on their side they may think it's betrayal but this commitment has definitely ended that they've had to pull their energy back and go within and intuitively themselves feel things out 
And clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please, in reverse. We have two tens, which is completion. The Ten of Pentacles, can I have a card for that, please? And then can I have a card for the two tens together? Thank you. Yeah, so for the two tens together, cleaning up a trail, it's not working. You know, this karmic may have like, we need to heal this, we need to heal this, but that's not working anymore either. That contract is ended for the Ten of Pentacles. In we got three tens on the table. Massive completion of this group number one, okay? Burdens, responsibilities, having to deal with that because this marriage has ended. And this is all because of the Divine Masculine is sitting here. You know, this Divine Masculine is sitting here in like turmoil waters and holding a lot of peace, okay? And so this outcome, Divine Masculine is definitely getting honest. This Masculine is getting very honest about the past, talking about the past, talking about divine feminine, about this relationship, about the past, about what's gone down. That card wanted to come out. We're going to, I feel like I need to take it. Fear of endings. Okay. They may have been afraid of ending certain things. Yeah. Of breaking down this home life. Okay. Breaking down the marriage. This card, they're already celebrating because they're already married. You know what I mean? So it's ending a marriage, ending this, and there was a fear of this, but masculine is getting very honest about this right now and wanting to win this. So he's ending it, wanting to win and become victorious in his life and wanting to end this. And this karmic energy is sitting here like, bruh, you're not actioning anything. It's ending an entrapment actually for this karmic energy. This karmic has, has gained some understanding. I don't feel they're fighting anymore or angry anymore. They know that this has this been in and out, and they just want to stop fighting that anyways, you know. They don't want to be in this in and out energy anymore. It's too much for this karmic deserves love as well and is starting to see their worth. They're getting on a new brand, brand new path because this masculine is not actioning anything. Wow, guys. So that is your read for this, for this, uh week guys for your twin flame soulmates in, in separation um connection all right let's take a look let's get some healing messages here for the viewer spirit it's a beautiful read you guys i'd love to hear your comments if you like that please make sure to like and subscribe and again i do do coaching sessions and have a membership take a look down below we have some that fell on the ground so i'm going to take them We've got two. We have potential and center. So spirit is saying there's a lot of potential coming in with this connection. So take a look at this inner child that's in this heart space here with this divine feminine. Okay. Whoever you are, just know that there is something new that is birthing inside of both of you right now. There is a lot of potential for this connection. There's a lot of healing that's coming forward in this connection. We're going to do some healing messages too. So just hang tight. And the spirit is really saying, stay center, stay very centered right now and just keep doing the work that you're doing and focusing on self and working on you and healing and learning more about, you know, where your triggers are in your life so that you can heal this inner child work. Okay, let's get some messages from your masculine towards you. Let's see where your masculine is at right now and the feminine towards the masculine. For any masculines that are watching, this is my mirrored messages deck. They're not for sale yet, but they will be eventually. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. I'm trying to set everything up is a lot of work, so I'm still trying to figure some stuff out. Plus, my account was hacked, so I had to like do massive security stuff on my on my, all my online stuff. Um it was an ex-client too, you guys. I'm telling you, people are not honest out there. So um, I'm just going to say, like, I can't be friends with clients. Like, I just can't be friends with clients. All right, let's take a look. What is going on for Divine Masculine? What would the Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine? Can we have a message card? Divine Masculine sitting in a lot of feminine energy right now. Trying to balance masculine and feminine energy. And can we have some messages from the divine feminine to the masculine? Divine feminine to the masculine. Thank you. Ma <laughs> I wouldn't surprise if a white one shows up. Yeah, I felt that. 
So the spirit is really saying both of you are balancing each other out, okay? Both of you are in divine feminine and you're in divine masculine at the same time. This is really beautiful. From the divine masculine to the divine feminine, he's sitting in divine feminine energy, feeling you on the inside saying, our love has reminded me that you were walking beside me my entire life. The presence I felt was you all this time and I had no idea until now. This masculine is recognizing the divine feminine deeply within and is recognizing like, wow, when I was a kid and I felt this energy, it was you. Or when I was, you know, a teenager, it was you. It was you and God. It was you and spirit. This masculine is tying the ties to when they have felt you their entire life. In their masculine energy that they're balancing out, they're saying, please forgive it all, including all the karma. Our hearts must be clear and healed for such a powerful connection. So this masculine is really wanting you to heal, forgive the karmic energies. It's it's helping this masculine to grow, okay? Divine feminine, you're sitting in your feminine energy and you're saying, when you truly saw me, I saw myself. You illuminated my innermost sacred spaces. Beautiful. So you're recognizing too, you're both sitting in feminine energy. You're recognizing the connection in the feelings. And here in your masculine energy, divine feminine, you're saying, you are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. This is so funny. So spirit is saying, because it's not gender based, right? So spirit is saying here <clears throat> that you're recognized the sensitivity of the feminine of yourself in your masculine. That's what's that different perspective is coming up. Group one, there's a lot of healing that's happening here. And spirit is really bringing through, you know, you're noticing yourself in this masculine. You're noticing the beautifulness of your, the sacredness of your own feminine energy and noticing it in your masculine. That's beautiful. All right, guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and we will get on to group number two. So much love, guys. Bye. Hello, group number two. If you picked this beautiful tree necklace that I bought in Bacalar, Mexico. It's one of my favorites. This is your reading. Let's take a look to see what's going on in your soulmate connection. This is a timeless reading, so welcome. If you guys are new, make sure to hit a like and subscribe, please. Let's take a look. This is Made for Love's deck. You can find her on YouTube, she's awesome. What is going on here, Spirit? with group number two in regards to their divine masculine towards the feminine and the feminine towards the masculine. And then I will pick whatever cards I'm feeling drawn to. I feel for group two, I'm going to use the same ones at the first part, but when we do the karmic energies, I'll, I think intuitively I'll pick out a different set for you. What is going on here for group number two spirit who picked number two for all my viewers in their twin flame soul connections in separation what is going on here, Spirit? Thank you. For group number one and, oh, sorry, group number two. This is for group number two. What is going on? We have the Emperor on the bottom, so he's making an appearance already. So let's take a look. What is going on here for group Divine Masculine towards the Feminine for group number two? Whatever wants to come out. What energies are coming out here for group number two for Divine Masculine towards the Feminine? ready to defend you may want to reach, watch group one uh they had a ready to defend too we have pride okay we have uh can we work things out okay and we have following my heart wow yeah so this masculine is having some ego they want to work it out though i don't feel that they're having too much of a um I, I feel they're ready to come forward. Wow, this is intense. Like group one had two that someone wants to come forward. So you may want to watch group one, but if you were drawn to pull one, if you were pulled to group one, um, this masculine is ready to come forward. That's the best that I can say. Let's see what's going on with the feminine. Standing his ground, making his way through the darkness here is what I'm seeing with this defend card, you know, how it's dark. <coughs> Recognizing his ego. Wanting to work it out. 
following his heart. Wow, Divine Feminine. What is going on with the Divine Feminine towards the Masculine for group number two, Spirit? What is going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine? I'm not going to take all those. I'll take the one. Wow, Divine Feminine looks like you need some space. Looks like you're going through some healing here, Divine Feminine. What else for Divine Feminine and group number two? Okay, we'll take those. The third party knows about you, Divine Feminine. You're using your intuition. You're burnt out. Yeah, you're tired. You're working on your issues. You're you're tired with this situation, Divine Feminine. You're just taking a break. That's what I'm getting from this. You're like, I'm over it. I can't deal with this. This is a back and forth. The energy is back and forth. Um, I feel like you, <laughs> you are completely moving away. I feel like whatever's happened in this third party has been quite, uh, quite hard for you. I feel like you're getting intuitively hit by this third party situation. I feel like this third party is, is also completely psychic and intuitive and doing a lot of, listen, a lot of people don't know how to work in energy. They think they cut ties, they're cutting ties. Like they have no idea what they're doing and they don't know the ramifications of what they're actually working with when they cut ties. Like everyone thinks like, oh, but I'm setting the intention. It's like, yeah, you're setting the intention, y'all, but you don't know what you're actually dealing with. Like, <laughs> so this is what I'm getting from this karmic energy. It's like, yeah, you're just tired. You're burnt out. You're like, I just need to pull away and work on my own stuff. Um, and I feel like you're really moving away from this connection here. So let's take a look because divine and it, that always happens. You know, the divine feminine is like, I'm moving away and it's like, Look, who, look who's ready to come forward here, you know? Let's take a look. What's going on with masculine? Masculine energy here towards the feminine. What's going on with the masculine energy towards the feminine? Can I get one for each, please, spirit? One card for each. Yeah, I feel like I need to take one for each. Let's get one for ready to defend for divine masculine. Pride for divine masculine towards the feminine. Can't change. Can we work things out and follow my heart? Thank you. Bad health. This masculine has not been in a good place. Mentally, physically, not in a good place. He wants to work this out. You're the main female in his life. I don't feel anybody around this masculine anymore. If if you don't know, if you know of a third party, it's not going well. They're about to be on the outs. Um, but this, and for some others, this, and if you don't know, this masculine's done. It's over. Um, his ego is about merit. This masculine has some commitment issues, okay? Yeah. Ready to defend. He This masculine feels that the divine feminine was stolen from him. Taken, stolen. Um, he's ready to come back and claim it. That's what he wants. He wants marriage. He's having some ego around this because he's feeling a little commitment phobe. And so he's having some mental issues in this whole following his heart, but he's doing it. It's like, but he he knows that's his ego, so he's doing it. Wow. Wow. So what's wrong with you feminines? Feminines, you're like, I don't know if I want this. You're like, I'm like, I feel like you're kind of turning into the runner here. What is going on with Divine Feminine here? Towards the masculine. One for each, please, spirit. I need some space. What is this Divine Feminine? I need space. Mm -hmm. You're making some really proper decisions in your life. You're making higher good choices for yourself. You're not liking um, the energies that are coming up here, so I'm not, I wasn't ready. Clarify the third party knows about you. Thank you. The intuition piece. The burnt out. What's divine feminine burnt out? And I'm working on my inner issues. Yeah, you've made the decision to surrender this. I take this as like God, you know, spirit, a judge, somebody of a higher calling that you can't make the decisions anymore about this. You've surrendered it. So you're letting spirit work on it. You're burnt out about this courtship. You're burnt out trying to get some attention from this person. Or like, can we just get started? Or can we just at least be friends and talk about this? Like, can we move to the next level? Like what? This person has been shutting you out for a long time. I feel divine feminine and you're like, I'm really like kind of over it. Your intuition is telling you to be the boss in your life here. That's why you've surrendered and you've moved away here. Third party knows about you. Poverty consciousness. That energy alone from the, from the karmic energy, you're like really done with it. You're like, I do not want this poverty consciousness. It's like, yes, like I understand I've been a victim in my life. Things weren't fair. Things weren't right. But you don't want that. So you're using your intuition, your gut instincts to make really high-end decisions, higher choice decisions. 
even though it's painful, you're like, no, I'm burnt out with this. I'm moving on. I'm working on my own stuff because I don't know what's actually happening here between the two of us. Um, this masculine here for others too is also um, what I'm getting if it's a third party. This is what I'm getting it for some of you that pick too. Is involved in a marriage and has a high ego to defend that marriage. But but also wants to work it out with you. For those that are in that kind of situation, I don't feel that's a twin flame connection. I don't know why I'm picking up on that right now. I'm feeling that that masculine is too much ego of defending this and doesn't want um, the this divine feminine to steal anything from him. But it's actually causing a lot of. Uh, heartbreak and heart and and issues because it's affecting their heart and so it's making them want to work it out or he, they want to work it out with the main person in their life okay so if that sounds like your story yeah you need to move on for sure okay this person is not wanting to move away from that and is not willing um, it's causing their own health issues. Let them get in their health issue. They got to be locked up in a hospital because they can't deal with their own health issues because it's the spiritual based connection that they can't see. That's their shit. That's their stuff. You move on. You be divine feminine and move on. For others, I'm seeing the masculine, not sure, you know, having ego around marriage, commitment, phobe, not wanting to, not knowing, you know, what they want, but ready to come forward to this divine feminine as this divine feminine is like, I'm really moving away. I really don't want anything to do with this. The third party is too toxic. It's like poverty consciousness. I want, I want what's right for me. Let's take a look and see what Tarot has to say. Let's see group number two, what Tarot has to say in regards to your twin flame connection this week. If you like this reading so far, guys, make sure you hit a like it really helps my channel to grow. It doesn't take much. It really sends some good energy back my way. Comment, subscribe, and you can take a look at my services down below. It would be great. Okay, and any ads that you guys interact with, it really helps. If you feel that it's aligned for you, please interact with them. It also helps my channel to grow. Um, so let's take a look here. What is going on with Divine Masculine towards... Yeah, let's take a look here. I need a sip of coffee. It's a very interesting energy that I'm getting from this masculine. What is this thief in ready to defend this masculine energy? This masculine wants to return to the pot. There's a lot of regrets that are happening here. Okay, so. I feel what I was saying. I'm going to say this right now. When I was saying that this person is defending their marriage... I feel that's the end of your reading. I'm sorry. I don't, I hate to say that um, because um, that person's not worth it. You need to move on. And I feel that was your message. If they're defending their marriage and wanting to stay there, then they, then they've already said that. Um, this group, what I'm reading for is the next, as the energies are increasing now and we're moving forward, there is a return. This person is emotionally unstable without you and has a lot of regret and, uh, regret and abandonment issues. They feel that this connection was stolen from them. They want to return to the past. They, they haven't been able to move on from you, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, they're having massive abandonment issues and regret. But look at the three fives that are coming out here. Massive change for this masculine is waking up. We have five of cups, five of pentacles, five of wands, okay? So <laughs> massive change, ending of cycles, okay? And that's because Divine Feminine, you have been walking away. You have been walking away, okay? You have here... Um, this courthouse you've been making higher and higher self decisions where you've been stuck in your life you're taking the space in your life to realize what you actually want here for love yeah look at this you've got the other five that just came out right you're at a crossroads you're looking you're guarded you know that you you have missed opportunities in your life maybe sitting around for this masculine you're using your intuition Things are hidden from you. You're not seeing the whole picture of what's actually happening. You want to go on a new adventure. You're, you're done fighting this. It's put you at a crossroads. It's put you in third party situations. You want real love and you're moving towards that. So you're really surrendering that. 
This masculine has some ego about marriage. What is that about? They have massive issues with, with marriage. Wow. They want to end their pain and not juggle this and persevere, okay, through their ego about commitment issues. That's what I was seeing earlier. This masculine may have commitment issues, but they're persevering through it, okay, of what commitment is. Because commitment is different in a twin flame connection. It's freedom. It's actually has nothing to do with, like, how regular humans have a commitment, you know, ball and chain bullshit. Like, that's not a thing with twin flame connections. It's a complete freedom with twin flame connections. Um... Um, because they've done the healing work, right? So in high level soulmates, you've done the healing work. So this masculine is starting to get over his pain and realize, you know what? Well, maybe I need to persevere through this and make that decision and stop juggling this and get over my ego. So this masculine is getting over their ego, trying to persevere through their dishonesty, okay? Through their sneaky ways. May have been a player in the past, okay? But they're also planning. They're also strict being trying to be strategic about this. Clarify that. They're trying to be strategic because they're com completely complacent in their life. Completely. Divine Feminine here is like that third party that you put me in. I'm like over it. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm closing off the past and moving the hell on. Yeah, yeah, you are Divine Feminine. Yeah, you are the chariot with the six of cups in reverse. You're like, I'm over it. Done, right? <laughs> I love that. It's so clear. Because you're really fed up and you've surrendered. And this is awakening the mask. This masculine is having some massive wake up time. Okay. This masculine is like, can't we work things out? You're my boo. You're the main feminine here. So yeah, they know they can't wait anymore and invest in what they've been investing in. This masculine is becoming very clear in their headspace. The king of swords here becoming very clear, aligned with head and heart. Okay. Look at this queen of wands. This is karmic energy when I read in, in, in this, not all the time, okay? Um, but Spirit is saying, this has failed. They can no longer invest in this partnership. This mess has become awakened to Queen of Wands energy where things have failed and breaking down a home life, breaking down foundation, and no longer investing because of this main female wanting to work it out who the main female is. This mask is becoming aware of who the main female is, Okay completely aware of who this main female is and i'll show you i'm going to clarify the queen of wands here who's this queen of wands the masculine <laughs> that's my other karmic card the queen of swords okay too many clarify that clarify who the my two karmic cards that i use yeah this masculine has been yeah a fear of change with this karmic person has blocked has blocked a lot of their awakening as well okay so they're done this has failed they know this they're still have they've had a fear of change over this but they know that it's blocking their highest good it's blocking the the connection to the divine feminine divine feminine is being this official per person and really taking who the uh the the rain look at this you're taking the reins of your life for the ten of cups you're like i'm moving towards my tenth cup i want it i don't care if it's with you or who i don't know but i'm moving towards it you're becoming the boss the official person in your life you're moving forward towards your happiness yeah look at this six of swords you're moving on to calmer waters you're really done divine feminine we have the masculine now is waking the hell up <coughs> These masculines can be without the feminine. Let me tell you. They think they can. Masculines got their gotta get their ego checked, okay? It divine feminine energy is all over. We live on divine feminine energy. We're in the womb of the mother. So yeah, we are powerful. So <laughs> um this masculine's had a lot of bad health here, okay? Has had to become very humble pie, is what I'm feeling. To follow their heart. Look at this. I'm not gonna take all those that just fell out. I'll take the one that fell this one but look at this divine masculine look balancing temperance reconciliation they've had to go through something mentally scorching or uh their health has been failing maybe they got covid i don't know but i'm just saying I'm not saying that but something has happened here that they've gotten a lot of uh balance because of their health issues okay you're burnt out divine feminine with this courtship you're like i'm over it i'm moving on it's just nine of cups this exactly what I was just saying. You want the 10th cup. You're going to go look for it. You're like, this was just nine of cups. I'm done with nine of cups shit. I want real. 
Yeah, it was too painful. Way too painful. You you have surrendered this and you're working on yourself, Divine Feminine. Really beautiful. Yeah, because it's it was just complacent. I mean, the Sun in Reverse is still a nice card, but it's okay. It's not it's depressed. It's like, well, okay, complacent, right? And 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 it kept you this waiting, you know, for something. For the future, for your ships to come, and you've surrendered all of that to spirit. Spirit says that you've put an end. Your fear of endings here. Okay? You've had a fear. You've been waiting because you've had a fear of ending this. But spirit is like saying that's created a lot of conflict in your life. And you're starting to learn those spiritual lessons. To come into a greater um, self-love within yourself. Yeah. That's really what I'm seeing. Wow. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's going on with your divine masculine towards the karmic energies. Wow. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> very interesting read guys. I feel like, um, divine feminines, you're really coming into your own in pile number two and you're really starting to see what is actually, um, good for you and yeah you deserve this ten of cups you completely deserve to be happy and with you know somebody that can see you for who you really are without any of this drama who wants drama trauma i don't know that's why i can't stand this whole like when i connect to the karmic energy it's like ew what are you in high school like what is this it's just it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good there's the deck that i wanted for group one but obviously they weren't meant for group one we're going to use it in group two let's take a look let's see what is going on with your karmic energies for group oh my gosh i have too many cards guys too many cards i don't even know where half the stuff is going okay what is going on with group number two in regards to the karmic energies that the divine masculine is working through right now what is going on with the karmic energies right now what is going on with the karmic energies what's going on with the karmic energies between divine masculine and the karmic energies thank you spirit what is going on with the karmic energies? This isn't my deck. But this is one of my favorites called the Shaman deck. I absolutely love it because the guy in it looks like my twin flame. <laughs> it's really kind of funny. I get a good hoot out of it when this deck fell into my lap. I'm like, oh my God, that's my twin. <laughs> okay. This is the connection in the higher realms that's coming down from spirit. It means that there's an end of a commitment that's happening here. So that's what I was seeing. Something has ended here. Family patterns and ending. What's happening in their 3D connection right now is juggling. Okay, karmic energy, not happy. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is the perfect karmic energy. It's like, look at my, look, I can seduce you with the passion. <laughs> so let's take a look here. Um, what's going on with the masculine towards the karmic in the mind? Not waiting anymore. Karmic energy in the mind towards the masculine? He's blocked. Karmic knows that this masculine is completely blocked. Heart's face towards karmic, injustice. You're an injustice to my path. Karmic heart towards masculine sees that he's he's aligned. He's aligned in heart and space and is blocking. So this karmic is very aware of what is happening with this masculine energy. What is going on with this action? He's revealing. Masculine is revealing a lot of stuff to the karmic. Action and intentions with karmic is trying to persevere, being guarded, but persevering. Outcome for divine masculine is very unstable. Outcome for karmic energy wants marriage. I don't want this to end. Learning lessons, but still not really wanting things to end. So, wow. Let's clarify that commitment between the two of them. The Ten of uh, Pentacles in reverse. There's definitely something has ended. A family pattern or a marriage for you group too. Yeah, things that, that some truth has been come out here. They're juggling now with the truth. Now that this stuff, the spirit's bringing this down, they're having a hard time with the infiltration of this energy coming in that they're juggling. They're juggling it. Both of them are juggling this because it's bringing up a lot of regrets, trying to clean up the responsibility and the burdens that it's coming up. So they're trying to debate. They're debating here of what to do, okay? Let's see what's going on with uh, masculine energy. What he he's not uh, masculine is not waiting anymore. 
not waiting, not, yeah, just can't wait and in this situation anymore with this karmic energy. Yeah, communicating the truth, okay? So there's a lot of truthful communication that's coming through here. A lot. A lot of truthful communication that's coming through. And I'm not waiting. This is unrequited. I don't feel the same way as you. I do not feel the same way about you. And this is why the karmic's like, yeah, but you're blocked. So let's see what's going on. The king of cups. So karmic saying that you're, you're blocking your heart to me. But they feel the truth of the communication, okay? They're lowering their defenses. They're trying to lower their defenses, but they know that they're so blocked in communication. Look at this. They're letting their guard down. This masculine's not opening their heart at all. It's unrequited. That Ace of Cups is in reverse. Not opening. This karmic completely knows this masculine has head and heart aligned and has and is moving and aiming yeah, where they've been stuck and is ready to, is communicating about divine feminine. Look at this. Being stuck between two people. This karmic knows that this masculine energy has been stuck between two people. Divine feminine and, and, you, and the karmic and getting very clear. What does this karmic know about this masculine getting clear? Okay, Spirit is pulling me back to here to the injustice. Because the masculine feels the injustice, clarify this, of this. Yeah, he's gained enlightenment of where he's been halted in his path and the emotional instability that he hasn't been able to love himself through this. Um, and so he's recognizing here, saying, look, <laughs> I've gained a lot of enlightenment about the situation. He's communicating his truth. He's com he, he, And so what is he communicating to the karmic? What is this true? We know that it's unrequited, but can you give us anything else? Yeah, let's do these ones. I want to get a little nosy here. I'm allowed to get nosy. Spirit lets me peep in on energy. I'm allowed because of the amount of work that I've done. So if anybody questions that, come see me about the amount of darkness that you healed in your life. Yeah, because the more darkness that you heal in your life, the more key codes you get to work in energy, the more spirit allows you like Akashic been doing Akashic since I was four, like whatever. Right? <laughs> That's not the highest. There's more beyond the Akashic. That's just for this lifetime. You know, um, <laughs> there's so much more guys. There's so much more. So I'm allowed to, to look. I'm allowed. I've been given the go ahead. So if you're other readers out there and you have an issue with that and you can click off because I've had I've had people send me things. So. Let's take a look here. What is going on? Let's get a little nosy. Why? What is this masculine saying to this karmic energy, the truth about why this is unrequited? What is this masculine saying that it's unrequited? It's not unconditional love for you, for you, baby. It's an addiction. This is, I'm putting an end to this. It's an addiction. I don't want a second chance. I want real love. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. So... This karmic energy is very aware. This masculine is getting very clear about where he's stuck between two people. And what does this karmic know about the divine feminine? The queen of cups, let's clarify that. Well, look at this divine feminine. That the home life, even at a distance, divine feminine, you're breaking down the foundation. And what about the queen of swords about themselves? What does the karmic know that they're stuck about themselves? Yeah, they're not getting anything offered to them. Knight of cups in reverse. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. So let's go and take a look at what is being revealed here for divine masculine in regard. What is he revealing to the karmic energy? I'm stuck and I'm slowly moving away from this. I'm slowly moving away. He's taking his time. He's making sure that everything is happening as it's meant to be. He doesn't want to rush either, right? But he is revealing, masculine energy is revealing that I'm moving to something new to clean up. This is, and, and he's betraying the karmic, but whatever. It's not really a betrayal. It's like he knows that there's a betrayal here, but he's moving through the betrayal slowly. This karmic energy here is persevering. What is this karmic persevering? Being guarded, but persevering through their abandonment issues, but wanting to return to the past. Wanting to return to the past. They keep coming back. I don't, I feel this karmic is still trying a little bit, but nothing's being given. The past is closing off this karmic nose. So they're going through their own abandonment issues. Things are going to get a little icky and yucky here 
is what I'm feeling. So it's actually really good, Divine Feminine. You've been walking away. This is going to get a little crazy if it hasn't already. Spirit is saying this masculine is very unstable in this situation with the karmic and is unsure of what is actually happening here. Is in massive pain about what he has invested in here. He's getting aligned. He's been hanging on um, to what he's invested. Could be money, right? But it's causing more pain than anything. And, and it keeps making him unstable and nothing is turning for him. So this masculine knows that he has to create some kind of offer to create some kind of stability here. Because fate's coming. Like nothing. Fate is trying to come in. But he's been hanging. What is he hanging on to? He's hanging on to the passion of this new beginning. Um it might just be passion it's the passion with the with the karmic he's had to go within it's very hot and steamy but that's how karmics do that see that's why i brought that up at the beginning like look it's all about sex for the karmic the passion you know oh i'd rather what's that saying i'd rather die passion than whatever passion is just lust but you don't get real god's passion until you do the work you don't get real romance and passion that's all devil shit that's all dark ego shit that will keep you sick so this is what this masculine is hung on to, but it's causing so much pain. And so this is why um, this karmic cycle has been very difficult because, you know, men get stuck between two heads. Let's just be honest, you know, and this karmic knows that and is playing that. OK, they think that's love, you know. Yeah. Um, outdated thinking. Thinking of you, letting you know. So this karmic, you know, they go back and forth between all this love and the zaza zing because it's outdated thinking. So this masculine is still moving between two worlds. This is why it's really good, Divine Feminine, that you've you've surrendered this connection because this masculine knows it's an addiction, it's trying to end it, but this is still happening. It still happens every now and then, you know. So this karmic energy is trying to do this for a marriage, for a commitment. That's gonna. That's actually gonna scare the divine masculine to be. Yeah, wants a new beginning in marriage. Does not want this to end and is creating delays. Okay, so that's what's happening here. Trying to be friends, meeting up for coffee, wearing a mask, and trying to be tr trying to. They see the clarity of this. Okay, knowing that they're losing the masculine. They know that. They know that. Um, how overall is masculine towards the karmic? He's leaving. So this karmic's trying to just, yeah, he's leaving. He's transforming. Okay. This is a narcissistic situation. Completely aware of it, that it's just a sex thing. So he's still sorting that out. He's still sorting that out. All right. Let's, uh. Let's do some healing messages. This karmic energy, let's see what this karmic energy is towards the divine feminine. I just feel like that you guys are dealing with somebody that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, girl with the snake. Look at this. This karmic thinks that you're the karmic. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. That's why you're having the hard time. <laughs> so, so, whatever. But yeah, let's get some healing messages, guys, because that, let, let's see. Let's do my mirror deck and then I'll pull some other. Um, messages for you as well let's do that let's see what your masculine would like to say to you first if you guys like that reading comment down below yeah i feel like this masculine's just still sorting things out and defending they are completely aware of where they want to go um but the this karmic's not fully out of it yet you may want to watch pile one because i feel they're more out of it so if you feel that you're masculine is almost done completing his karmic cycles um go look at group one okay let's take a look what would your masculine like to say to you uh we'll see what energy the masculine is also sitting in if he's sitting in divine feminine or divine masculine energy what would the masculine like to say to the divine feminine he's sitting in masculine energy right now can we get one more he's balanced he's sitting in masculine and feminine and what about the feminine towards the masculine? The feminine energy towards the masculine. The feminine energy. One more. Thank you. Feminine is really, see, this is, and this, 
this is very true because divine feminine you needed space and you're moving on that takes action that means you're actioning in your masculine energy so you're more in your masculine energy right now you're not getting pulled by the wishy-washy like oh my love oh no 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 you're really healing yourself and moving forward spirit sees that so this is causing a lot of this upheaval in your connection okay so let's see what your masculine would like to say they're sitting in divine masculine energy they're trying to stay balanced here Please know every night you are my last thought and every morning my waking desire. Wow. And this is when they connect to you on the inside to the divine feminine. I feel you denying our connection. Wow. This is you walking away, divine feminine. Deep within me, we deep within we mutually meet. And the more you repress, the more I purge for our one soul. Please heal as a sacred feminine. I can't help but feel you. It's how we were created as one. So this masculine is really connected to the feminine energy on the inside. And this is what's shifting. That's what I was saying is feeling the feminine move away. It's getting harder to connect on the inside because feminine is moving away. Okay, so here's how masculine, divine feminine, you are sitting predominantly in masculine energy. And you are saying to the divine masculine from the masculine on the inside of you, please trust that I'm making a plan and I will be coming home to you. Do your work and I will do mine. God is great. We will meet again. Have faith. That's you walking away in that divine masculine energy group number two. And you're saying here, you are the only one who can unlock my heart. And so divine feminine, you recognize these things. This masculine is still sorting this out, but you being able to move is definitely shifting things. In your connection okay let's take a look and see some final healing messages from the star seed deck let's see what is going on for the viewer please spirit some healing messages for the viewer and that will be your reading group number two okay let's take a look what's going on here for the viewer some healing messages thank you star bathing light body crystal grid transmission you're getting activated right now by the stars okay let's take a look what comes out though some healing messages thank you is there any more no okay you are the star keeper cosmic ancestor seed the light by staying grounded beautiful so viewer this is exactly what's going on for you in your connection there's a lot of upheaval that's happening here your masculine's completely aware that it's just a lustful physical chemical stimulus thing don't worry about it you're doing the right thing of moving forward this karmic is still having issues of letting go so you just stay grounded in yourself you know that you're holding a high pillar of light here you are of ancient wisdom you are being guided by spirit and um yeah this is you are bringing down a very high potent energy so you just stay grounded in that and it is definitely shifting things all right group number two so much love to you and i'm so glad please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye Hello, group number three. This is if you picked this beautiful mushroom crystal necklace. It's one of my favorite. I am in love with mushrooms. <laughs> Absolutely in love with mushrooms. Um, I have been my whole life. Um, so let's take a look. What is going on here, Spirit, for group number three that picked the mushroom and their divine connection? If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And if you're returning, make sure you hit that notification bell. Um, if you guys want to work with me, I only open up readings every now and then um, because I get really booked up with readings. And I'm, I'm more of a healer and a coach. Um, because I can see into your dark patterns very quickly and give you some channel tools for you. So if you are more about getting on a healing journey and healing your stuff, take a look down below. I also run ayahuasca retreats in Mexico and we'll be running more psilocybin and plant medicine ceremonies once things open up here in Toronto. If you ever want to come up to cottage country, I'll be running some retreats up here. So... Anyways, let's take a look. What is going on with group number three, please? For their divine connection. What is going on with the divine masculine 
and the Divine Feminine, please, Spirit. What's going on with Divine Masculine for group number three who picked the mushroom for all those viewers? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on for group number three? What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Feminine right now in group number three who picked the mushroom? What's going on with group number three? Okay, very interesting. We have... Try to take them as the order that they came in. We have coexist. Our spiritual beliefs are different. So there may be some religious factors or spiritual aspects that are different right now. Can we work things out? Wow. Doubt. Okay. We have, I know there are secrets between us. <laughs> Illumination. And I love you. Wow. This masculine's having a really a lot of self-esteem issues in group number three. I'm not going to lie. This person, I feel, comes off as very confident, can look very confident, may even have, like, you know, um, deep... Uh, I feel this person is quite successful in their life, and so they maybe not have jumped into this uh, spirituality as much here. They know that there are secrets here. They've been hiding things for sure. They are illuminated to this connection and they want to work things out, but they're having a lot of doubt about your feelings. That's what I'm getting. They're having a lot of doubt about how you're actually feeling towards them. They don't have a lot of self-esteem. They're like, why would this goddess want to be with me? And then again, and this is this masking is very sensitive. It's not about how you look. It's not about a physical thing for them. They've never, I feel they're either just waking up to, the, to spirituality in their spirit and... It may have been based in religious stuff or, you know, what I'm getting is like Hinduism and like, you know, meditating and following different things and um, whatever religion show you like a certain way of moving and doing things. And so I feel like there's like certain steps that this connection doesn't fit into it. And so they're not entirely sure is what I'm getting in that message. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine. What's going on with Divine Feminine in this connection for group number three towards the masculine? Whatever wants to come out, Spirit. I guess that's it. Okay. Take them in order. We have Judgment is the first one that came out. You've made a decision. You, this is your person. You're willing to take a leap of faith and you want union. Wow. Divine Feminine. You've made up your mind, Divine Feminine. You're like, I don't care. This is my person. This is my person and I'm willing to jump and I'm willing to have union with this individual. This masculine is um, feeling it. Let's see what's going on with them. They're feeling it, but it's like they're having massive self-esteem issues. That's really what I'm picking up on. I need a sip of water. I finished my coffee in group number two. <laughs> I'm drinking water now. Let's take a look. Three cups of coffee this morning. I'm like, woo, what is going on with me? <laughs> um, I only have two cups of coffee, but I'm like wired now. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, they're having some massive, you know, feminine's what you want. You've made that call. And it's not like you're attached. I feel like you're in a very empress mode. You're like, yeah, this is what I want, but I'm, I'm building my life. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And this masculine is like, what is what? They, they're having, they're a little scared. They're having some self-esteem issues. Oh, this poor baby. I feel bad. Your mouth feels so soft. I can feel it. I can feel it. What is going on for group number three, please? Your spiritual beliefs are very different. So this masculine may, may be struggling of, you know, their belief systems and what this is really. What is that about spirit? This masculine energy towards the feminine with this belief system. I feel another one wants to come out. Yeah. You feel like family. They want to court you. You feel like family to them. And they are also aren't sure maybe of their family um, belief system spiritually. I don't think they care, but they know it's going to cause an issue. They may be highly religious or um, have a certain set of ways. Maybe you guys are different cultures and, you know, you've never, you know, there's never been a person of color in their family or, you know, you guys are of different cultures or different backgrounds, different upbringings, different foods, different whatever. But that's all physical stuff. You know what I mean? But those masculines having a, a, you know, they still want to court you. 
even though there are different belief systems that are coming that they were raised in in their family let's see that he wants to they want to work things out with you clarify this spirit the divine masculine wants to work things out they're really concerned about this they feel trapped they don't know where you're at divine feminine that's where they're feeling trapped and so that's what's causing their self-esteem issues because um then <laughs> they're <laughs> so I'm getting this like I this thing like they're watching you glow right up like blow up glow up you're you look good divine feminine to them you look good you look happy you look healthy so they have a concern about that what is their doubt their spirit divine masculine towards they're doubting this love even though they love you clarify I love you they love you hmm. community they love you but they're they're having fears about how you're going to fit into their world. So that's why they doubt the love for you. What? See, this masculine's like, how are you going to fit in? Like, because you are so different in my world. I feel you guys are from two different worlds. Two completely different worlds. And and Spirit is saying, um, you know, what I'm getting here is like, they love you, but how are you going to fit in? I'm thinking, how are you going to fit in? So now it makes them doubt this love. And so they feel trapped. They want to work this out. What is this? Their secrets? What are these secrets? We're going to look at, guys, also the karmic energies between the two. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We're going to do love messages as well from my mirror deck as well. <laughs> this masculine's waiting. So this masculine ain't actioning anything. They're just sitting in a place of worry and self-esteem issues. They've become illuminated. They know who you are to them. Give me one more on the illumination. Yeah, they want to be the boss. Okay, this person has massive control issues. Yeah. They, <laughs> they're illuminated here that, you know, they're coming from a place like they want to, <sighs> that they've been stolen or, <sighs> no, what is that spirit? That you've been maybe stolen away from them somehow. Something was stolen from them. I need to clarify that. It's something with you that somebody may have stolen them away from you. What is that, thief? Yeah, they want to talk about, you know, maybe this path. They feel that it was stolen from them. Their enlightenment was stolen from them. They're, they're stuck in some dogma. They're stuck in some kind of tradition from their family. And they feel that... The new fresh energy of this new path that Divine Feminine was bringing through for this masculine is completely like, you know, been taken from them. And they have to become, they have to boss up now. They have to become this awakened person and talk about their concerns about this and their concerns about how you're going to fit into their world. You guys are coming from two very different situations is what I'm getting. So let's take a look here. What's going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine? You've made a decision. You've made a judgment about this. You're like, I'm going on my own journey. <laughs> I'm like, see you later, life partners. Uh, you know this is your life partner, but you're just letting spirit bring it to you unexpected. You know it may happen unexpectedly. You're fine living your life. Yeah, you know this is a great abundance, but you're living your life. You, 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 you're waiting for a surprise. You're like, you're not really waiting either. You're living your life and you're going on your way. You're ready to take a chance, but you're also living. Yeah. You want this per he's, this is your main person. Clarify one more ready to take a chance. Yeah. You know, this masculine is in poverty consciousness. I was feeling that with this thief. So, you know, that when he's ready, he'll come for union here. Clarify the union for divine feminine. Yeah, you're a mature woman. <laughs> you want this house, but you know your temple. You are a mature woman who knows her temple. And you're like, yeah, you are you are not phased by this divine feminine. You're like, yeah, I'm on the journey. This is what's happening. You know, like, and this is what happens when you hit a point in divine feminine energy. You're like, yeah, and like, I'm okay. I'm not affected by your drama anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting you may want to watch pile two number three because they were also divine feminines were very much in a place of uh yeah I ain't dealing with that I'm not dealing with that I'm not dealing with that so let's take a look I want to pull another card here spirit's pulling me to pull some star seed deck for your this masculine is trying to work on themselves I'm not gonna lie they're 
they're trying, okay? Um, they're thinking about it. They're having concerns, but it's all a lot of just mental drama, to be honest. It's like, oh, you know, my kids like, you know, burgers and hot dogs, but you make curry and roti. Like, how is that going to work in my life? Like, feed the kids the curry and the roti, whatever. Have hot dogs one day. Like, this masculine is overthinking is what I'm getting. You know, like, that's what I'm getting. It's like, you guys come from two different backgrounds. How is it going to work? Spirit is like, he's not looking at the depth of this let's take a look at this imprisonment and concern spirit what is that what's the masculine doing in regards to that imprisonment oh my dear god well he's meditating he's definitely trying to gain some guidance here knows that this is abundance and trying to be still with this so this masculine is aware of their issues right now okay they are trying to gain clarity here what is this thief that the divine feminine was stolen you're a sacred earth guide. Oh, the vibration is being raised to a higher level. They feel that spirit took you away from them. That God, the mother, the divine feminine pulled you the way the, away. This person's having an issue with God. This person is angry at spirit. What is that? This person's angry with spirit. They got to solve their, 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 their connection with spirit. That's keeping them separate. You guys, this is what's happening. They feel that this was stolen from them from spirit because you didn't wait, uh, because they decided to go do whatever. And like you were expected to wait. This person has some uh, high privilege issues and is causing their self-esteem issues. And so when the self-esteem breaks, what happens with the psyche then it, it just, you know, because they feel that they're righteous for this, that people are meant to just be there for them. It's a selfish energy that they're dealing with. What is this uh, thief spirit? Ah, see, they, God, God's working on this, okay? God's putting an end to this, this type of privilege and this way of thinking with your masculine. Like, yeah, no, of course we pull divine feminine into something else. This divine feminine needs... <laughs> to other things like you need to level up you can't have someone wait until you're ready that's what this masculine's thinking no 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 i'm divine feminine you are doing good let's take a look let's see where's divine feminine sitting in this energy i feel like i need to pull for you where's divine feminine in this yeah you made the choice to become your star seed self and to channel, you are a hot, raise the vibration of the planet through your loving light, standing conscious in your thoughts, guide your journey in the direction of your choice, your channel, you are a channel which healing reaches the rest of the world. So yeah, like this masculine knows that God called you. So they, they got to get over it. They got to just get over it. Just gotta get over it. Can't stop your little that's a little boy energy, you know what I mean? That's a little boy energy. Grow up. Come on, masculine. Come on. Like, get out of the privilege. <laughs> like, divine feminines have to come into this place, you know? It's when spirit leads. You gotta go. You can't, you can't, you gotta put your shit aside, you know? You do with for spirit. Everything for spirit, you know. This divine feminine understands that this masculine is having a hard time with it. Let's take a look and get a little deeper, guys. And then we're going to look at the karmic energies. Let me see what the time is on this. All right, yeah, we're doing good. So let's take a look. So this masculine energy knows our spiritual beliefs are different, maybe because of family upbringing. So he's trying to he's trying to recognize this, okay? This is he's trying to end this entrapment here and contemplating how to move forward here. Okay, so this masculine is aware of it. Um, knowing, like, concern, wanting to work things out, but feeling trapped. They're trying to end their entrapment. Yeah. This masculine's back and forth. Some days I'm working on it. Yeah. Some days I'm working on it, some days I'm not. Things have halted because I'm ending toxic situations. So this masculine is really trying to work through his stuff i feel it's a slow progress he's doubting this love and this abundance because of how the feminine is going to fit in but he's trying to end that conflict right now let's see this community here like i love you but yeah he wants a new beginning so really so really trying to end the conflict this is really good where they've been blocked before they're starting to recognize where they've been blocked so this 
this masculine is waiting because they know that they're still healing. They're healing their connection with God right now, with spirit, okay? They're gaining some illumination about what was stolen from them and why did they leave me? Why are they gone on to some other path? Like, I thought this was a connection. And I know that might make you a little angry, Divine Feminine, but this is a... This is a poor me, victim, oh, poor little boy energy that's happening. Yeah, look, it's narcissistic. It's selfish. It's king of swords in reverse. So spirit is working on them to heal this pattern here. They are gaining illumination. Yeah, look at this. They're gaining illumination completely of the pain. You know what, guys? Sometimes we have to go through pain. Pain is our best teacher. Your abusers are your best teacher. The darkness is your best teacher. It really is your best teacher. We can't know it without transcending and coming to a higher place. They've been suppressing this truth. Spirit has been waking them the hell up to the truth of why. You want your cake, you need it too. You want to do all this shit and have, and have this holy connection just sit by and watch you? No, you are making a free will choice to play in something else. This waiting, I know there's secrets between us and this waiting because, yeah, they're, they're, they're butthurt about it. They have to let it go, see, for their stability. They have to open up and let this waiting energy of why the feminine didn't wait. They've been just using it as an excuse of where their own growth is. That's what I'm feeling. All right. Wow. <laughs> that was very interesting. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine. You're journeying. You're like, I made a decision. I'm I'm moving on. I'm not waiting no more. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm moving on. I know that I have a high calling here on a brand new passionate. Look at this. I know this is my life pat partner. I know that there's a massive, you know, I'm holding patience. Look at this. I'm holding patience and love for a reconciliation, but I'm also ending cycles that don't suit me. Divine Feminine, you are brilliant. You are able to sit in this energy, end it, love at the same time. You're mastering massive amounts of energy at once. This is people who work with me. It's like you're moving out of like one way of feeling, black and white feeling, and amalgamating all these feelings into one so you can master and leverage yourself out of the emotional world into your truest potential. And that's what's happening here with you, Divine Feminine. You're leveraging how to use that mastery within yourself. You've made a choice. You know that your masculine is stuck, is in poverty consciousness. You've moved on. You will definitely hold a healing place of love. Okay, you want union, but you're building your foundation. You've pulled back and you've decided to build the foundation on your own. And when he's ready, you, you will take that chance with him. Yeah, you're investing in yourself because you haven't been stable because of what's been happening in this connection. So you're, you know, you're honoring your temple. You know, you're a starseed. You know, you're here for union. You're, you know that you will fight for this union. Okay, but things aren't manifesting. So you're taking care of your stuff. You're taking care of you. You're a mature, wise woman. You are completely, yeah. You're working and building your, your churches and your temples here. You're closing off the past and letting your guard down so your divine feminine energy can completely rise to birth something new. So you're really moving into a really potent place, divine feminine. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that's the energies that are going on between you guys. Let's take a look at what's going on with your masculine between karmic energies. It can be any kind of karmic energies. It can be addictions. It can be lifestyle. It can be a boss. It can be another person. So take it as it resonates, but we are going to go into that. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, please do so. Please comment down below and let me know how this story resonates for you. I would love to hear. I do try to reply and like all the comments as I go through them when I can. So if I do miss any of them, I'm sorry. I am doing my best to keep up and to do that. So sorry. <laughs> Let's just get all this out of the way. Let's take a look and see what is really going on now for your masculine and the car and the karmic energy. We're going to take a look at the energy between the two of you, between the two of them right now, whatever's happening with that. Okay. All right. We'll use my deck again. What is going on between karmic energies and the divine masculine, please? What is going on with karmic energies? 
for group number three. What is going on with karmic energies right now between the divine masculine and the karmic energy? Drugs, devil energy, attachment, suffering, addictions, old job, old boss, old partners, old marriage, whatever it is, whatever your case may be. I'm not going to take those. I wasn't ready. What's going on? Thank you, spirit. Okay. What is going on with the karmic energy? This is the higher energy, the uh, energy that's coming in from the higher realms, okay? It's the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there's a lot of depression, sadness. This is not the Ten of Cups. Spirit is making that known in this connection. What's connecting the karmic energy and the Divine Masculine, the Divine Masculine will be on this side, karmic will be on this side, is the masculine stability. Masculine's mind pattern towards the karmic, making decisions, justice okay so this masculine i need a sip of water feeling one way towards the divine feminine gaining a lot of enlightenment of what's happening right knowing the justice now of what needs to happen a decision towards the karmic the karmic energy is in a lot of pain about this yeah definitely the masculine's heart is in conflict towards the karmic. So they're fighting, okay? The karmic's heart towards the masculine. Why can't we work on this? This is a contract. This karmic's bringing up a lot of the contract and the pain. So karmic uses pain and suffering to keep. If it wasn't this painful, then why? Then there must mean love. That's not real love. Real love is when, you know, yeah, it is painful, but we still surrender and let go at the same time to give freedom this karmic uses pain as an attachment to excuse it as love that's a difference divine feminines don't do that divine feminines are i love you it's painful to see you walk away and it breaks my heart but i know those are my feelings of my pain that i need to work through and i don't hold attachment that you're doing this to me whereas karmics don't do that they constantly blame the outside instead of taking ownership, okay? The action towards the karmic is not offering any kind of love. The action for the karmic towards, they're in pain because there's no more offers of love here, okay? They're in massive pain here. The outcome the Divine Masculine is a giving is something balanced here. This masculine wants to create some kind of balance with the karmic energy so that it's peaceful. This masculine did show that they're interested in the divine feminine, but they're having massive self-esteem issues. This is part of the self-esteem issues is what I'm feeling. This is part of like, yeah, but let's work on it, baby. Come on. And, and playing on those insecurities here. They want to come out of their place of regret. They know they have something to do with it. They want to come out of this place of regret. Okay, let's get a little deeper, guys. Let's get a little deeper. I want to see what's going on here with the energies in between. Let's take a look. Clarify the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles for the masculine energy. This masculine is not happy. Knows that it's not his full spiritual happiness. Knows that it's just complacent energy. So let's see. What is going on with the masculine energy towards the karmic right now in regards to this Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles? Yeah, not showing their hand and wanting to take a risk and really working on themselves and their shadow work. So they know that they need to gain their stability. And what is the karmic energy towards the masculine with this? Can I get one more to the karmic? Knowing that this masculine has, see, they've been struck by love. But they just a one night stand, baby. Knowing that this masculine has other options. They, they're in love. But this masculine is knowing that they have other options. Hence the divine feminine, you know. Um, and knowing this. So knowing that it's not their fulfillment either. Let's go deeper. What is this justice for the masculine towards the karmic energies? Making a decision to be single. I want to be single. I want to be... In my, I want to work on my abundance. I want to work on my business. I want to work on me. I want to work on my money. I want to work on my coin. I want to work on my life. I want to work on this. I don't want, I want justice right now. I don't want 
whatever you're giving here. Um, yeah, they just want to be single and that's the justice and they're, and they're holding that and that's causing a lot of pain here for this karmic energy. They're in a nine of swords. They can't sleep at night. They're having massive anxiety. They're, it's their manipulation tactics aren't working is what I'm hearing. They're stuck. Nothing is manifesting the way they desire because they have to learn their, about their connection. They have to learn their lessons, their spiritual lessons. You, they have to learn it. They have to learn what commit, real commitment to God is. Clarify the Hierophant. What is this karmic learning with this Hierophant? That's why things aren't moving for them. Okay? They haven't learned their lessons. They haven't. And so it's painful because that's the pain of not loving self, you know? So let's take a look at the heart space for the masculines and a lot of conflict and fighting with the, with the karmic energy. Nothing is turning here. It's stuck. So what are they fighting about? He's working on his dreams. I don't think he's fighting. He's this causing a lot of conflict because he's focused on his dreams. It's an illusion too. And he's been working on an illusion. What is this working on this dream? And how does that relate to the karmic? He's not fighting this anymore. He's ending a commitment. Okay. So he's, he wants to focus on his dreams with divine feminine. Okay. And knowing this wheel has in turn where the karma gets stuck and he's not fighting this ending of this commitment anymore. Even though karmic energy is like, we have a contract, three of pentacles. Let's work on this. What is this with karmic energy towards the divine masculine? Yeah, they're afraid. They're, it's putting them at a crossroads because they can't wait anymore. Um, it's making them have to choose and making them see that they're, they're the only ones working on this right now. Clarify that spirit. It's causing them to go through some shadow work that they don't want to do. That's what's kept them stuck with that nine of this nine of swords. When I created this, it's the subconscious patterns rising up out of the, out of, you know, and it's showing the destructive, uh, cities that we've built it, the dreams and the illusions. It's a, it's, a, it's a hard one to deal with, but this karmic energy is recognizing that they're afraid that they can't work on this anymore and they can no longer wait on this. They, it's pull, it's made them pull back into themselves, which is amazing because this, this masculine is not giving any sort of love to this karmic energy anymore. Yeah. It's not healing. There's unfinished business. You know, it's just not healing and wanting to return to the past. So, um, yeah, they have unfinished business to do. That's why they're not offering anything. They need to close this off. They have to close off the past to finish what they need to finish. Ending toxicity. Can't make that up, guys. Ending the devil here. Okay. This masculine, I mean, sorry, this karmic situation is in a lot of pain because of this clarify this pain that's just too bad sorry yeah it's it's opening up a new beginning for them they have to go through this pain they're they're fighting ending things but it's causing more pain and this karmic needs that the more you suffer the more you gain enlightenment i hate to say it but sometimes we need it we really do they're blocked because of their abandonment issues but they know they're not going to get anywhere in life until they really look at this that's really what's happening it's a way too many spirit Let's clarify this abandonment issues yeah, they've been suppressing the truth. And the masculine is trying to bring that truth clearly through about abandonment issues here. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely, and they're blocked to hearing this. But they don't care. They're still ending it. Anyways, clarify the six of pentacles. This masculine wants something reci reci reciprocal. Yeah, this has failed. They're breaking down any kind of foundation. So this is where their self-esteem is happening because, yeah, because of their own dishonesty, you know, um, where they've been blocked themselves, it's creating and where they want to give. It's creating a lot of their own insecurities like, oh, my God, they're seeing how toxic this really is. And they're like, how can my divine feminine... You know, now they're realizing why Divine Feminine couldn't wait, why you had to move on. But it, it was making them angry that you did, you know, but they're starting to realize, oh, my God, this is so toxic. Um, <laughs> I can understand why would I have anybody sit in a situation like this? Karmic energy is coming out of regret here at the, as the outcome. Yeah, they're starting to get a new beginning too somewhere else. So 
Yeah. There's been apologies. They're trying to love themselves through it. They're not happy with it. They are moving on. <laughs> they haven't... They're... <laughs> Because somebody's returning to the past, but they haven't been able to walk away from this. And they're really trying to move forward. They're trying. So they're still involved, but they're still, you know, they're trying because they know. Look at this. Look at this. The karmic knows. I got divine feminine reverse, the lovers and the emperor, you guys. Knows that this masculine doesn't want this to end with the divine feminine. The karmic knows. The karmic knows. The karmic knows. They're trying, but they, they've they had to pull back. So now it's just really building up this masculine self-esteem. That's really what's happening. Wow, 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 guys. Whew. Let's get some healing messages for you. I feel... Let's pull these ones. Let's get some healing messages for you guys. Spirit wants me to pull these and then we'll pull some divine messages from my mirrored deck. Okay, this is we're going to see where you're at. I have them double sided. So one's, we'll see if your masculine's in predominantly feeling feminine or predominantly in masculine energy right now. Let's take a look here. What is some healing messages for group number three? What is going on for group number three, please, Spirit, for their messages? Thank you. You guys, again, if you haven't liked the video, please like, please subscribe, please hit the button, please comment. You know the drill. Thank you for being a part of my channel and part of my, my healing mission. If you guys want to sign up for my newsletters, I'm still working on the newsletters. I have a lot of people who have signed up. When COVID ends, I will be running ayahuasca retreats, so if you want... A high vibrational, very clear. I work with. I'm in training with a shaman. Um, hit me an email, and we'll get you on the list. Okay, let's take a look here. What is going on? Some healing messages for group three. Wow, thank you. You are cultivating prosperity, group number three. You're planting those seeds. Okay, the abundance of the universe is pouring into your life. There is massive shift that's going to happen. Your masculine just has to work through their self esteem stuff that's going on right now. Is what it looks like. They're trying to fix this, but they'll get tired of that. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Listen to your heart. I trust the message I receive from my heart. You're being really guided by your intuition. I feel like by watching these readings and things like that, you're really coming into a place divine feminine or whoever's watching this of manifestation. It is coming. They want me to pull one more. It is coming. Receive the messages from your angels. They want me to do another one. Okay, this is it. They're like, cherish yourself and expect miracles. Okay, so that's what's happening. That's what's happening in your connection. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. All right, let's see what is going on with divine masculine and divine feminine energies. What is the masculine like to say towards the divine feminine? What would masculine energy like to say towards the divine feminine? Thank you. Let's see where your masculine's at right now. If he's predominantly feeling feminine in the feminine or in the masculine energy. Masculine energy towards the feminine, please. Where is masculine for group three? He's really trying to balance, okay? Mostly in both. Feeling both energies. Okay, really beautiful. And where is Divine Feminine towards the masculine, please? Divine Feminine towards the masculine. Can we have two as well? I feel you're predominantly in masculine, but we'll see. Feminine will probably show up. What's going on Divine Feminine towards the masculine? Divine Feminine towards the masculine. You're balanced as well. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are both very balanced in your energies right now, which is great. So let's see what... The masculine is connecting to the feminine on the inside and this is what he's saying i knew your head wasn't in a good space when we met but i thought i could help you i soon realized i had to heal myself and you had to heal yourself i had to end the pattern of fixing other people and putting myself last this is beautiful because i feel like that's what i was feeling this masculine's trying to help this karmic but it's not working and then they got really angry when you moved on 
or the whenever the separation happened and and they got really butthurt about it you know thinking you know well i'm helping other people i wouldn't leave somebody like that you know that caused a lot of issues and their distrust so they've been working on that and that's what that came out earlier in your reading so let's see here and they're in their masculine energy saying i didn't trust the intensity now i know better please forgive me so they're realizing that they didn't trust it either so it's um not that the divine feminine didn't trust it but i felt like they felt that the divine feminine didn't trust it because divine feminine walked away and created all this stuff and they're faith in god was gone and all this like oh, i will you help people you're supposed to stick by them that's an old way of thinking right but they're starting to wake up to that wow this group of three you guys were really powerful let's see what's going on with um yeah group divine feminine you're sitting in masculine energy you're feeling your masculine i love how this came out like this you're in masculine first and then the feminine came out. Your masculine is in feminine first, then the masculine came out. So you guys are talking. If you've had telepathic, there's something happening. Okay, so you are sitting in divine masculine energy and you are saying, lying to hide my feelings became such a normal psychological response. I didn't realize how much it hurt others until I hurt you. I'm so very sorry. So I feel this, that you're feeling the psychological aspects that has happened with divine masculine you're understanding him on a deeper basis and that's why you're like yeah i get where my masculine's at and i still love him divine feminine you're sitting in your feminine energy here and the message to your masculine is there isn't much i can do but i trust in a higher power a day doesn't pass that i don't think of you oh my god that's so beautiful so yeah so much love you guys that was your reading for group number three for your connections for this week if you want to work with me take a look down below if you have any comments please leave them down below i love reading them and what you thought of this i'm sending you guys so much love and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye guys